Our next guest says a record high could be in the cards for 2024. Let's bring in John Kolovos. He's head of technical strategy at Macro Risk Advisors. John, what do the technicals tell you about how much more legs this rally has? Yeah, thanks for having me, Sarah. Uh, look, listen, we take a step back and we take a look at the, the trend of the S&P 500 going back to 2009. There is a series of higher highs and higher lows in place here. And when I do my, my forecasting, my trend work, I think the S&P can get to about as high as you know, 52.80 on the upside. Uh, but really, the technical fair value, as I call it, is somewhere closer to around 5,000. So I think we can continue to push up higher on a trend basis to about that 5,000 area. Um, and also, the other way to kind of think about how we can keep pushing up higher would be with, with breath. We've had significant breath thrusts as of late. A good spike in, in, in new highs, good volume to the upside, and also market cycles are fable into next year. Do bonds have to keep rallying for all that to happen? Yeah, so bonds would be a huge part to all of this. Uh, it, it, basically, this inverse relationship between stocks and interest rates has to keep, right? So lower rates, higher stocks. What typically happens going into a recession or a recessionary bear is that the, the correlation turns to, turns to similar, turns to the same. So then if stocks were to start following rates lower, and I do think rates go lower next year, I think they're going to consolidate tenure to about 325-ish or so. If stocks start following, down, following them lower, then, yeah, 5,000 may, may be hard to be, to be hit. Who is going to lead this rally? Which sectors do you like? So my models are overweight industrials. I really like how industrials look. I'm still overweight uh, technology. Uh, there's parts of software that look really, really compelling. Yeah, I get it. Semis have been great, but there's some really great uh, base breakouts that are forming within the small mid-cap area of technology. I like that quite a bit. Uh, what I would be uh, uh, avoiding uh, into next year, at least at this stage of the game, would be energy. Uh, I, while I am bullish longer term on oil, I just don't think it's done going lower. So I want to be uh, avoiding energy uh, for the time being. Same with healthcare. A lot of the equipment names there just aren't doing well. You'll find a few biotechs that are okay, but I would be avoiding them. So basically, industrials and technology look look really good. And then also parts of financials. Uh, X banks, insurance look pretty strong. Capital markets look good. So those Why would be the X areas. Why X banks? Because we're, we're finally getting the, the curve steepening. That's good for banks. Yeah. Yeah, to an extent. So what I look at it from a longer term perspective is these stocks are just getting off the ground. Sure, they're up a lot over the last couple of weeks, but they're barely above moving averages. Their, their 200 days aren't sloping higher. They're early stages. Not enough uh, repair has been done. Constructive, less bearish as they were, but they really just feel kind of counter trendish to me. So the strength right now, and that's what I do in my process, I want to lean on long term winners and they tend to not be within banks right now. So you see lower yields, higher stocks. The, the third ingredient has been a weaker dollar. It's, it's down one and a half percent this week. Also helpful for risk appetite. Where do you think that goes? Yeah, I'm, I'm a dollar bear, been a dollar bear for a while. 95 is where I'm looking for on the DXY. Had a major structural peak uh, about two years ago there, and it's been progressing nicely. So, so long as those correlations hold in place, a dollar down to 95 would be pretty good. But I think on a short-term basis, though, what we should keep an eye on is uh, the, the emerging market currencies, like the peso and whatnot. Those are tied to risk assets. And they, the peso does look like it wants to keep working lower for the time being. But I think we're pretty close to a, a reversal higher shorter term.